Hey art friends, it's Miss TP and this is Miss TP Draw Stuff and today we're drawing a tobacco flower. Um, I actually have my daughter Evie with me. Say hey Evie. Hi. She is also drawing off camera. Yeah. Uh, and she wants to surprise us yeah. with her drawing yeah. at the end. Yeah. <laughs> she, she just, I think, wanted to hang out. Because it's so cool to draw with your mom. Because I love drawing and Hooray. art and everything to do with art. Ugh, oh, it makes me so happy. Because art is cool. Art is cool. So, Evie, tell me about um, like your favorite kinds of art. What do you? What art do you like to make the best? Nature. Nature drawings. Yes. Just like me. And animals. Animals. I know you love animals. Yeah. So I don't think you're drawing a nature drawing today. I won't. I won't no, tell what no. you're drawing. But not a nature drawing. It's sort of simple, actually. Okay. So what made you not want to do a nature drawing today? Well, I just thought of something that I could draw really easy that would look really good. Oh, sure. So I'm drawing a tobacco flower. Okay. It's from our garden. Evie and I, I said, I've been saying tobacco flower this whole time. Oh my okra goodness. Okra flower. It's an okra flower. The tobacco flower is next. Yeah, I have a tobacco flower to draw, but this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mom, yeah. Your mom is very forgetful. She knows already. She tells me all the time. Because you are. Not quite like this. Um, yeah, this is an okra flower. My bad. Probably lots of people were just like, "That's not tobacco." <laughs> That's so funny. So we we grew okra this summer, and it won't stop growing. It's still growing. It it like literally will not stop. Okra won't stop. Just keeps growing. Um, it it's a late flower. Um, a late a late. Mm -hmm. plant late summer plant it doesn't flower like in the spring like our beans came in really early um early summer and there's this um bean plant that would just not it was like the biggest bean plant and it would like literally not grow any beans and now it's growing <laughs> like so many beans now it's making beans <laughs> it's making so many now beans. that it's fall and we're expecting you know some frost soon maybe uh, yeah, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to stop growing, and neither does this okra, which is so crazy, but it's nice because Evie loves okra. Now, I wouldn't have normally picked a flower from my okra plant, except that we have put away so much okra already. I was going to tell you to draw a tobacco plant, but you were like, really, really small, it has to be really, really small. Well, tobacco plants are huge. I mean, okra is too. But like, I was pointing to a small tobacco. It was still kind of too big <laughs> for my sketchbook. It was small. It wouldn't fit right here on the it page. Was small. Um, you could just like draw it smaller. Maybe something to think about for the future. Evie is is my helper. She gives me lots of ideas. Why well, you never told me that before? You are. You're my helper. <laughs> I sort of want to draw on the floor because I can't sit down. Oh. Yeah, we need to get your chair in here, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, you can sit on the floor if you want to. Mom, this is on camera. You're talking to me on camera. Yeah, it's okay. I just be myself in these You're videos. You're talking to... You're supposed to talk to the people. <laughs> oh. Yeah, talk to the people. I mostly just talk to myself and then they get to listen if they want to. That's how this goes. Why can't you like? So you don't want me to talk to you, is what you're saying? No, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying you're. T I'm, I'm just telling you. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep talking about okra. Our oh, okra um. By the way. Uh huh. Oh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. Oh wait, I forgot it again. Yeah. Um. Uh, maybe you should ask. I mean, yeah. Ask me about myself. So the people oh. will know that I'm just not really, like, a random person. Okay. Because uh, I'm not a random person. 
So Evie, if if someone were meeting you for the first time, what would they want? What would you want them to know about you? That I like to run away. Run away? Because I'm shy. Oh, you would want them to know that you're shy. Yes. That's true. Evie is shy. Now, you don't seem very shy right now, though. You're being very friendly. Because personal. I'm not talking to people in person. Because you can't see them, so you're not so shy. Yeah. Wow, oak grove plants look so cool. Like, I don't think I've ever noticed before this little, um, I don't know what to call it, hood. Like, this is what the flower was inside of. Like, what is that? Don't know. I'm so, trying to point something out. Okay, what do you want to point to? That there's, like, this pink part at the bottom. Yeah, isn't that cool? Flower. Yeah. And it's, like, really pretty. It is pretty. And, like, when the um, yellow and the pink come together, it's, mm -hmm. like, they just go together now. They do. It's lovely. Now, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm noticing in the video that uh, the flower is actually yellow, and the video looks white. It's actually a really pale, pretty yellow color. Okra actually grows really tall. Um, and our plants are at least nine feet tall right now. Okay, I've pretty much drawn my um, thing. Okay. And I'm going to walk in ar around and get my color. Okay, great. So you're going to add color to yours. Yeah, because it makes it better. Color does make it better. It'll make it look more realistic. Yeah. I agree. So I did something a little unusual for me. Normally, I would start drawing at the at the petals of the flower and work my way down to the stem. But this time, it just, I don't know, it just made sense to me to start with the stem and the leaves and then add the, um, the flower after that. So that's what's happening. So, Mom. Yes. How many subscribers do you think you want, and how many oh you're going to get? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Like, you know... This is early days. You know you there aren't that many people that are, that are going to watch this, but right. they might still subscribe. So this is a really good question. Thank you for asking. Um, you know, when I first started making these videos, I thought, what am I doing this for? What's the purpose of this? You know, I know uh, some people make a living. It's for your students. It's for my students. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew the answer. Because you told me. Yeah. It's not, I don't think I'm in this for subscribers or for uh, an income. Like button. Like button. Right? I have a job. I'm not in it for the likes, which is why I don't say, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'm, I'm in it because it's good for me. It's good practice for me. It's good for your students to watch you draw good. good stuff. It's good. And there might be other people out there who just like to watch. Just like to watch somebody draw. Um, so that's You might happening. finish your thing before me. You think so? I don't I know. Started you you seem to be going really fast. But I'm going to add a lot of detail. You're drawing with a lot of confidence over there. But I'm going to be drawing a lot of detail. Okay. Well, I love backgrounds. So it's going to take a while. That is one thing my students get tired of me saying. <laughs> um, what are you going to do in the background? Make details. <laughs> That's right. That's a good answer. <laughs> it's like one of the only answers. Oh, there could be lots of answers. You know, do, backgrounds can be kind of abstract. But whatever you do, I mean, whatever background you add, it needs to look intentional. It needs to look like, I'm, I, this is the background I want to use, and it's the one I meant to use. Not like, oh, I just uh, thought I might not do a background. Like it needs to be a big decision that you make as an artist. So the background's part of the artwork. Comment down below if you think my drawing is going to be really good. <laughs> I can't. I can't comment down below. I'm not thanking it to you. Oh. Oh, not me. Okay. I knew that. No, you didn't. I did. I was teasing. I was teasing. So, right, to answer your question, it's not that important to me how many subscribers I get. I know. You said that already. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just wanted to be clear about it. 
Then I run out of blue markers that don't like I that work. So easy. Yeah, blue markers. Did you know okra is originally from Africa? No, I didn't. Tell me more. <laughs> Yes, it's uh, an African crop, I believe west coast of Africa, um, and so it came to America uh, through slaves. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something that Americans have gained because of the um, population of slaves in the south. I was going to say slavery. Yeah, because of slavery. Kind of cool, though, the way that um, American culture is a combination of cultures. So, uh, Evie loves okra. I do. She will eat all of it I if do. she could. I will eat it all. Her tiny tummy is not big enough. Well, I could eat a whole bag of Cheetos party size. Not at once. Not at once, but in like three hours. What? Okay, I'm not going to ever let you do that. <laughs> well, I wouldn't do it anyway. Good. It's not a healthy choice. I know. <laughs> I would do this with a Sharpie. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see a black Sharpie. Uh-oh. I might retrace it with a Sharpie, though. Okay. If you tell me where they are. Uh, well. Well. In my head I know where they are, but I'm not sure how to what? tell you. <laughs> that makes no sense. It does. It makes sense to me. In my head I know where I put things. But you don't know where they are in reality? Well, it's just hard to explain where they are. Like, I could walk over to it and get you one probably, but... But you're on camera. You can't. Right. You, you I'm can't busy. Move. I'm you trying. You can't walk around. I can't walk away. Yeah, you can't wa walk around with me. Might ruin my video. Yeah, I can walk around because I'm not in the, in the thing. No, Maggie! No! Oh. Cat broke in. The cat got in. Okay. It's your job to get her out. Ugh. Sorry, guys. You're not getting in either. <laughs> Maggie, I hope I didn't get a blue marker on you. Evie, tell us about your cats. They're crazy. What are their names? Maggie and Misty. What's your name? What's your cat's name? Lavender. She's sweet. <laughs> She's the sweetest cat. She's also rather elderly. She's really old. She is. She's 16 now, I think. Yes, she's 16. 16. And the kittens are like a year old. They are. they crazy as heck. Oh, well. They're young cats. They just act like young cats. Lots of energy. Like crazy young cats. Lots of curiosity. Curiosity about the studio. Yes, and if they could get in here... They, Which Maggie just did. They would knock everything down. So they're not allowed. Yeah, they definitely Okay, do. I'm finally getting to the petal. Maybe you should color too because I'm not even close to being done. Because I'm like, just now coloring. Look, I'm just now coloring. This. I think I'm making this too big. Let me measure real fast. So I do this little thing where I measure the actual thing and then compare it to something else. A lot of smorts. Mm -hmm. You so, never told me that. Oh, well, I'm telling you now. <laughs> now you know. Yeah, I do. All right, so I found that like this. I've been knowing for like two minutes. So. Oh. This part is the halfway point on the whole thing. So if I measure here and then go up to there, it kind of shows me the top of the petals should be about there, which means I have drawn them too high. Oh, wow. And that's why. One keeps an eraser around. Oh, guys, I'm going I'm to call her mom because she's my mom. I think you just call her PP. Right. They should not call me mom because... Because I'm the only I'm person not. that can call you mom. 
um, my some of my high school students a few years ago uh, jokingly referred to me as Art Mom. <laughs> it because, was like, funny. Because, like, you're, you're a um, class family, <laughs> and you would be the mom. It's, it is kind of like that in a classroom, isn't it? Yeah, you're in... Teacher's mom. My teachers always say that we have a school family. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that way? Yeah. When Ms. Nolan said that, Alexis was like, Tyrone is not my family. Oh, no. <laughs> well, let's, let's not talk about our friends right now in front of everybody. Alexis is not exactly my friend. Oh, no. She, But in the classroom family, she was. We don't want to talk about people when they're not here to defend themselves. Or explain themselves. Or it's just not nice to talk about people. Well, I just want to say, if they watch this, mm -hmm. and they're like, wow. I'm on YouTube. Like, they're talking about me, not themselves saying I'm on YouTube. They're talking about me. You know, YouTube? Yeah. Like that. Don't be surprised <laughs> because I'm not actually a YouTuber. No. Well, I hope that if they watch the video, that they get something out of it besides just, oh, my friend Evie. Right? That's fun, but... The art is I, the most yeah. important part. I'm, I'm more interested in the art and what they learn <clears throat> and how it benefits them, right? Okay. I had to move that several times. I kept putting it in the wrong place. <clears throat> I need a red marker and a pink marker. Okay. But white pink markers aren't that common. So I have... Bucket. I have another question for you. Yeah, well, wait. Until I get back. Okay. I am not back yet. I am still over here at the marker thing. Okay, I'm back. Alright. How do you choose your colors? I don't know. You don't know what made I you just decide? Choose the colors that look best. Well, that's a pretty solid plan. Sometimes artists um, <clears throat> aren't sure what colors will look best. Did you know that? Um, sort of, maybe. I actually had to take a class all about Ooh, color. Paint marker. When I was in art school. And even now, I don't always know what colors work best. So what I do, if I'm not sure, is that I'll make like copies of my artwork. Little, little small Col mm -hmm. uh, printed copies, mm -hmm. and then I can color them in with like color pencils or something with different color combinations, and see which ones look best. Exactly. Some people do that with a computer instead, which is also very smart. Smart thing to do. Can you hear me? I'm sort of like outlining this thing so I so I don't like go out of my lines. Cause like, um, our art teacher says, um. It's very important to stay in the lines. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, she's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you're in kindergarten or first grade, it's going to be hard for you. Right. Because you'll just go like, scribble, scribble, scribble. <clears throat> maybe. Well, maybe not in first grade. I have seen a range of skills in kindergarten and first grade. Like There are some kindergartners who are just learning. How to draw, and there are others who are pretty good at it for their age. So you just never know. Uh, I also would say that coloring in the lines is important sometimes, and not other times. Hey, mom, what do you want these people to know about me? Um, that you are enthusiastic about art, which you've already shared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I you want them. them to know that I like to draw on whiteboards. Oh, sure. Yeah, you do. I, I like for them to know that you are bright. And, you and have... I like Phoebe and her unicorn books. Yes. <laughs> I and read two of them in two days. You because have... they're graphic novels. They're easy to read. Um, 
You have a fun personality. I want them to know that. Ooh, this little petal. I cut off right here, but actually it wraps around. Oh, wham. Right? Observation. You have a it's very important. good eye. Thank you. It's important in art and science. Do you want them to know what we've been doing in art? Yes, I would also like to know that. We drew a seagull on the beach during a sunset. That sounds so pretty. I drew mine mm. on a piling, mm -hmm. and I didn't get to color the water. You ran out of time? Yeah. It was going to be like Ooh. a pretty green water. Sure. Because it would look like sort of green in the sunset. <clears throat> okay. And, um, yeah, we drew clouds and fish in the sea and the sun. That all sounds really nice. I'm yeah, glad you're enjoying cool. it. So how did you color in what, I mean, how did the class color theirs? With, um, like... Watercolor, chalk. Watercolor. Or... Ooh. Watercolor is pretty fun. Yeah, and we had, I don't know how, but we all had our own palettes. Oh, nice. She must have had a classroom set. Yeah. You can just say Miss Wade. Yeah. It is Miss Wade. It is Miss Wade. Miss Wade, I think, is new to teaching art. Yeah. Um, last year she was my second grade teacher, but not my homeroom. Right. So yeah, and now she's the art teacher, so I had her two years in a row. Fine. Yeah, it's nice to be the art teacher because you get to have your students for more than one year at a time. Yeah, and um, you can like see what beautiful art they make. Mm -hmm. And like if they're all different, it's like really good so you can see how different they are. Yeah, that so is So they fun. can all share beauty without like being the same which is sort of boring it is boring to be the same um yeah my favorite thing is watching students progress in their art over this reminds years. me this reminds me of um a song it's like black white green or blue show off your natural you so yeah it's like it yeah like that okay and yeah and it's like, um, students, like, um, let me think. You don't need to change. It's boring being the same. Oh, um, yeah. You're right. Like, that's a really good part. Yeah, that's a good song. If, if somebody wanted to hear that song, would you tell them the name of it so that... Yes. They can look it up. Yeah, it's called Flamingo. And who created that song? Yeah, just, um, I don't know if I can find it. Just don't <laughs> make sure you don't, just don't make sure you type in the YouTuber Flamingo. Oh, that it's plays, not that. Yeah. Okay. The one that plays Roblox. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the tricky part about doing this is that you have to talk while you draw. I'm literally watching you draw. Don't do it. You can watch me draw later. You can watch the video. <laughs> Why would I watch the video? To, to see me draw, of course. I know YouTubers watch their own videos. Janet and Kate do it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure that it's a good video. Yeah, that it played okay. That everything worked. That everything worked, or you're gonna have to redo it. That's right. Like the I think the sound I, cut off, did the drawing go black? I think I accidentally said redo instead of redo. Oh, okay. It's okay. I'm almost done with the what I'm drawing, but I haven't started the background coloring. Well, I know we're excited to see <clears throat> your mystery drawing. Yeah, it's going to be so cute. Is it too green on my left leg? Let's change it. Okay. And now what do I need to do on a brown one? So even though these petals are like a really light color, 
Um, they show still so, show shadows. And beauty. <laughs> Absolutely. I often talk about in my videos how um, beautiful and delicate you know nature is when you're drawing these little little artifacts from nature. How are they artifacts? There are things that I found in nature and studied. They're evidence of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, teaching. this is going to last for like 40 minutes. What? What? It's almost been 30 minutes. That's true. 25 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, good job. Um, what if you share your drawing as it is now, and then another time you can show us the background? No, that gives away the story. Okay, thing. but I'm almost done. Okay, time to box drawing. <clears throat> I'm almost done with my drawing. I told you you were gonna finish the song. You were right. You thought I was gonna finish before you because I didn't have that much to do. So, Evie, do you like to find things in nature and take yeah. them home? Yeah. <laughs> what are some things you look for when you're out in nature? Coins. <laughs> Coins. That's not it. That's not nature. But people can drop coins in nature. Okay. What are some things in nature, what are some things produced naturally by nature that you like to um, pick up and bring home? Um, cute plants. Cute plants, okay. And maybe dandelions. Oh, you do love dandelions. And helicopter seeds. Yeah, I drew those in another video. The ones that you brought home. From the river. Mm -hmm. And there there are some right here. Yes, there they are. I don't know how, but my hands are so big and fat. Okay. You need to finish your mystery okay. drawing so we can see it. Sorry if I'm being slow and making the video a lot longer. <laughs> but like... It hmm. takes a while to do this when you're, like, coloring on camera. It's just, it's fun to talk, isn't it? Yeah, and I get distracted. Now, I need to, like, trace this. I know about that. Lots of students get that way at school. I'm going to show off. Now, I've done, I'm done with my drawing, I think. That's my okra flower. These grow way at the top of the plant. You should color it. I don't, I haven't prepared any coloring materials. You keep coloring your background. I'm going to share the okra flower. I feel um, like you should make a background. <clears throat> well, mine is just sketching. I don't have a background for it. Fair point, though. Hear what you're saying. So these grow at the very top of the plant. And here's, I love the way it looks. I think they're so beautiful on the inside. It looks like there's a tiny pebble flower inside of a bigger yellow flower. This one hasn't opened all the way. It's a, Guys, sorry if you hear a cat in the back in the background. Misty's just really loud sometimes. Yeah, she misses us when we're not in sight. And she's <clears throat> slick. Mm -hmm. So we grew. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about our garden. You I'm draw. Gonna do that. I'm gonna talk about our garden. So we, because of lockdown, we were home in March, and we. Uh, just started growing things. We I've never been home in the spring when I could uh, actually start planting and keep up with my plants the way they need. So that was really fun. We bought a bunch of containers, plastic containers, um, for the back porch, and we planted all of our beans in those, and a few. I think we planted a few tomatoes back there. Then we had a garden plot, and in the garden plot we had zucchini and squash and cucumbers and tomatoes and different kinds of peppers and watermelon and lettuce and greens um i thought like in my mind greens were only a winter plant but actually we grew some i guess summer greens and they were really yummy um let me think oh we also had some other containers on our patio that included uh Let's see, strawberries, um, more peppers, poblano peppers specifically. I had some lavender back there and rosemary. Uh, we had we planted some blueberry bushes, but they didn't produce very much yet. 
it's only their second year. So, and we transplanted them this year to a better spot. They get a different kind of light. <clears throat> so I'm hoping for next year to get a decent little harvest of blueberries, enough to put in my oatmeal anyway. Okay. We had we had some basil, and some sunflowers. And we plant um, hydrangeas every summer. So, no, every spring, every spring. Around Father's Day, I guess, is when we buy those and get those. Uh, so this was our third year in the house. We planted our third pair of hydrangeas. And by the end, when we've planted all we can plant on that side of the house, it should fill up the wall over there. I'm looking forward to that. There's like a bit of a shadow here. I guess I'll include. Um, hmm. The neat thing about our hydrangeas are that they're three different species right now. So it's, it's kind of neat. They are all turning the same color though. I've heard that hydrangeas do that. that they, um, the flowers are, the color of the flowers is influenced by the soil in which they grow. So they all have the same soil over there. So they are all kind of a pinky purple color. And some of them were pink when we bought them. Some were blue, some were white. But it's neat that they're growing. Maybe. And yellow? <clears throat> Did we have yellow hydrangeas? I don't know. We definitely had white ones. Yeah, and blue ones. We had blue ones. We had pink ones. Now they're all kind of a pink, pinky purple color. And of course, it's late, so it's it's fall, so they've all the flowers have dried up. The bushes are still good, but the flowers have dried up. And the uh, or I would draw some hydrangea flowers, right? They're really pretty. Green, green, green. Filling in that background. Do you intend to color the background? No. Okay. Ooh, she's almost done. It's getting close. I'm making some faces, mostly from Roblox, on emojis in the bed. And some of them look really funny. <laughs> It was one of the hard things about going back to school when school finally opened again was that I had to sort of walk away from my garden. Um, things had mostly finished growing the watermelon hadn't because that's a late summer crop as well and the okra is still going strong and the peppers, some of the peppers are still growing and the beans so it's harder though to get home in the evening and then do all the stuff I need to do at home and still go out and pick, um, harvest vegetables. Uh, and then, like, we've been really lucky that it's been such a wet summer and fall. I haven't had to worry about watering. But normally when I go back to school, that's when our plants really suffer because I don't have the time to water them like I normally would. Not all of these faces are from Roblox, by the way. Is that something you want people to know, Evie, that you like really love Roblox? Maybe. She does. I like Dance Off. You like everything. No, I don't like those games that are like copies of other games. Oh, you like for it to be original work? Yes, I like it to be original. That makes sense to me. But I don't play Piggy that much. I never play Piggy. Because <laughs> I can't. Do it. I think Piggy's um, scary. Piggy's not scary. I think Piggy's scary. Piggy's not scary. What's wrong with being hit with a bat? <gasps> That's weird. Uh, what's wrong with? Oh, no, nope, just draw that. Draw that last bit there. Okay, well, I I can't. I'm I'm trying to think of a face. Hmm. Surprise. What? Surprise face is my favorite face. <laughs> so like That's it. Alright, so here's my drawing all finished. 
I think I make one more Loki. One more. Evie's almost ready to show hers. And then we'll be done with this video. Oh wow. Well, this is gonna take 40 minutes. Um, well, I hope not. It's quite a long video for me. It's almost twice as long as my videos were long. Well, because you have me in it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, so here's my, to, um, not tobacco flower, okra flower. And here I is show Evie's it. mystery. I want to show it. I want to show it. Mystery drawing. Is it gonna fit? I don't know. Put it all the way down on the paper. There we go. So not quite all of it. We'll have to do a little panning. Yeah, panning. Here's the bottom. This is a Roblox face. Roblox face. Roblox face. Roblox there face. There we go. This is all a creepy right. bacon face. So He's Evie, bacon. what do we say to our viewers? Thanks for stopping by. Oh. Comment down below if you think this is good. All right. Uh, and we'll see you in another video. Okay, bye art friends.